Canelo Alvarez. <laughs> Canelo Alvarez is going to fight either Chris Eubank Jr. or Edgar Belanga. The decision is yet to be final, but it's two people we didn't even ask for. But alas, here we are. Regardless, this means that this fight is obviously another paycheck for Canelo. Nothing more, nothing less. This isn't a legacy fight. This isn't something to prove a point. This is no beef. This is just for money. And that's okay, I guess. But we all know who we want. We're not getting that anytime soon at this point. Um, in other news, Terrence Crawford is gearing up to fight Madrimov this long weekend. We are looking forward to this fight because this is obviously a big statement fight to send shockwaves and pulled through the 154-pound division that he can can indeed fight at this weight. Will his speed and power translate up a weight class? We will have to wait and see. Now, while on the point of Terrence Bud Crawford, Boots Ennis has won against David Avanizinian after he retired in the corner in the fifth round. Why is this important? Is because there's obviously been talks for Boots Ennis to be lined up against Terrence Bud Crawford. The two have been going back and forth on the internet ever since Boots Ennis was emailed his 147 title, right? When Bud Crawford left the, the division, Ennis went and told Crawford to come and get his belt if he had problem with it beef straight beef this match is obviously a dream matchup and i'm hoping we are hoping as boxing fans to have this lined up by the end of the year i would love to see these two fight in Saudi in December. Both fighters fought Alvis and Nyan Both fighters won by KO. Crawford in the sixth, and Butsen is technically in the fifth. A match truly to be looking forward to. That's all, that's all my plate. It's been your boy after DJ signing out till next time. Do not touch that dial because we are still talking boxing in this next video. You've seen the subliminal messaging. You've seen it, hit it. Go ahead. It's been your boy, peace. Bring the beat in.